And we're finally back, folks. We have made it back to Melbourne to do some post... The train. Hi guys, it's me, Situ. So, meeting my friends after four years. I mean, it's a... I can't even explain it. I was so happy that day to see all of them. We had so much fun, like I literally went back in time and we just danced and we had like a couple of drinks. Um, we were like at the beach, swimming playing and everything it was so fun to meet them back again and i miss them uh so much we have arrived in our beach house in negombo husband. Hello. We are chilling here. We are chilling here. Yeah, like uh, show them the beach. I will. I will. I will show you the beach. I will go into the house. Rooms, 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 rooms. We have a nice little area. Which is just a little walk down that path to the beach. Party. Look at these cute little shacks. We will have the boys over tonight for entertainment. How is it? Mm. It's beautiful. I can hardly get into other stuff. You can. Ah. No, you can't eat that. No, I can't. <laughs> this is similar to like Gestu or, or something that we buy like no, cans. No, it's natural. Yeah. It's like real. This you know is like name? sugary. It's sugary. It's creamy. Mm. It actually tastes like a coconut. And like if you put the finger like inside that thing, you can feel the mushy parts. We like eat it as well. Yeah. Yeah. Can you feel it? Yeah. That's the pulp. Yeah, the pulp. Anyway, we're off. Are we going to leave soon? We will. We are going to check out now. And he's having his first coconut, guys. Where are we now? We are 
now in Borella. It's the city area, like middle of the city. We're just going to another hotel for the night. So we spent the night in Nagombo, folks, and that was Situ's party for all the friends and everybody to come and have a bit of celebration after four long years. Then we're on our way back to Colombo, which is about an hour down the coast again. And then after spending time with my friends, we we left to Alakamanda, but the next destination, it's not the destination, it's the place where we selected to stay for the night. Does it? <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. Yeah, we are very tired. Has Colombo changed much? Yes, it is, but not like drastically. Mm. Like little bit that pieces. Modern. But like, the weather has a huge difference in the weather. It's like too hot. It is too hot. So what's what's changed about the weather? I don't know. I think a few degrees have gone up. Mm -hmm. It's more yeah. humid. No, humidity is the same. Oh, is it? It's always been like this. Cannot escape. Hello, mate. Like while traveling through these cities, it is some kind of like a memory wave just running through like in my mind and head. And then I remember showing like each and every place. Here's this, this is this, this is that to Philip. So it is just, as I told you, it just took me back in time. So in Sri Lanka, everything's built around nature. And it fascinated me to see just a normal suburbia street with, you know, no guttering and no segregated concrete footpath and no structure. It's amazing that they can just, you know, build around the nature to me. So our place from outside bloody finger. Our place from outside and as you walk the little streets in inner suburbia Sri Lanka. Look at these trees. Everything just grows with nature. Coconuts, king coconuts, up there. They just put a little road and everything's built around. It's just gorgeous. This would be like your street with a nature strip, you know, and lines on the road and crossings. And they're having their morning bath. This is how you live. Absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> so we went to this place called Alkamandava. It was beautiful, full of like architecture and stuff like very old architecture. Uh, the colors, the, I don't know, the windows, the garden, the little garden they had. It was so beautiful and magical. We loved that place and we decided like if we are going, I mean, we have plans to go back again. So when we go back, we will definitely stay there. It's really beautiful. And this is not a, a paid partnership or like anything. We really enjoyed our stay there. And then we get to this property and Ala Kamandava, this is not a plug, but his house was beautiful. The entire place was ours, inside and outside. Second story, view, you name it. It was absolutely beautiful. Was it Kargis? Yeah. So we went to the supermarket called Kargis and Philip was like, he's so, uh, no. The mangoes are completely different. And yes, we are in a supermarket because we need to do some stock ups. But the TJ mango, kind of thin and long, or the normal mango. Thank you. Ooh. 
<laughs> and maybe I'll have one of these. Avocados look slightly different. This is your avocado. It's not brown and it's shiny. And wood apple, of course. Wood and apple. There's some little grapes. Honey Doran. Honey Doran. He's buying his fruit. So we went to the supermarket called Cargill's and we had all these fresh fruits and vegetables everywhere. So Philip was like, he was just like a child and going to pick all these like fruits and vegetables. He was really like enjoying it. And so do I. And uh, so am I. Mm. So, so am I. And all different varietal. Ladies' fingers. Tabato. Um, Sri Lankan cucumbers. Here. Green cucumber. Oh, this looks like an eggplant. Is this eggplant? Yeah. But they're little. Yeah, they're, they're tiny. And this is a Sri Lankan one. A Sri Lankan yeah. eggplant? Yeah, it's really tiny. Oh. Like... Kalikutu. I love these things, yeah? They're just little tiny banana. Okay. How much is So, uh, we were just just wondering like what to buy because there were like so many choices of fruits and so fresh as well so we decided to buy like a couple of mangoes and the best part was the ice cream section the supermarkets oh my god the amount of fresh fruit you can get the amount of different fruits you can get and of course the ice cream section So we wake up at Alakamandava in Colombo, look out the window, and who's joining us for breakfast? But monkeys! So guys, listen, nobody joined us for the breakfast. It was monkeys on a roof. So we like, we were like excited and we just recorded them. Hang on. <coughs> Hello, this is um, day six, six or seven. Yeah. And uh, on the way to Nora Elia because that was Colombo. Colombo is done. Part one. Now, oh, excuse the shakiness. Just, um, and I have an Ayurvedic hospital as well. Ah, yeah, we have an Ayurvedic hospital. 
the, so, the government, hospital government, there is one just like the Western medicine. So, like, if you want to get treatment, mm. you just have to go there and then, you know, they will give you all Ayurvedic medicine, including oils, uh, creams and everything for free. Amazing. I wouldn't even go to a different hospital. You know, I would I would go to the R.A.D. hospital. I tell you, I'm going to this R.A.D. hospital. No need for other medicals yet. So here we are on our way to Nuwara Elia. And uh, that'll be the next stop inland. Nuwara Elia, Ella and Candy. So then we packed everything up and then left to Nuwara Elia. So Nuwara Elia is one of my favorite places in Sri Lanka. I love that place because it's so like, it is not like freezing, but it's just have some kind of like a very cool temperature there. So the sceneries are beautiful. They have a lot of hydrangeas, they have a lot of roses and they have a lot of beautiful flowers around. So I love that place. Um, Let's come back and be a part of it. What do you reckon? <laughs> Do you want to go back to Australia? Yeah. Are you sure? Of course. I mean, like, yeah. He doesn't. I mean, like, it's the country where I was born, so <laughs> still I have my foot here. So that's not a very fair question to ask. Not fair? I mean, like, when somebody asks, Do you want to come here and live, like, leaving Australia forever? Will you? Do so I want to live in Australia though. forever? Absolutely not. I'm putting my hand, uh, saying no thank you. Because you get hooted. To get in the tuk-tuk. Yeah? That's my coffee, yeah? Just, just like think you're a movie star now, yeah. Thanking you. So yeah, that's a bit of a better angle. Ah, he's playing with the leaf. They were jumping from like the rooftops up here. They're just having a nice little sit in the shade. Ay ya! Aww. Where's he going? And there's one with the baby. It's like two babies, I think. <laughs> They're dropping the shit everywhere. Oh, there he is. He's playing up in that tree. This is just outside, you know. Just outside our kitchen window. It's our couch. Beautiful. Oh, what's that? What have you got? It's a vegetable food, but it's real spicy. Do you want to try? Mm. What's gone? Um, the whole view's gone. That is. It is covered. A mountain. Noir Elia is Melbourne, and yes, we are on day what's eight. Is okay guys, we've had a uh, coffee. This is our apartment in Colombo for the night. It's a rainstorm. It's a rainforest, really. This is just outside of Colombo and um, we didn't realize Akamandava, I think it's called, is gonna be so beautiful. They have the filtered water there in the pot. Let us take you on a tour. Let me sit you on a loop. We have the beautiful lights here. We've done a bit of unpacking. Kitchen area, the lounge room area. Oh, outside. 
This is all ours. This is our place. There's little fishies. I can't really show you because it's like raining, but there's all little fishies in here the whole way up. This is all ours. This is all ours. So you walk up here and you come in through the doors. Another bit of a perspective. We don't know whether to keep the doors open or closed or <laughs> because of the heat. And then up the stairs, of course I probably wouldn't show you the toilet at this stage because Situ's in it, but the bedroom up here, it's like a little loft, like it's like a little, I think a couple of lofts put together. That's the view. These little boxy, matchboxy kind of cute little just like piled on top of each other like concrete blocks and like that's the downstairs I just showed you. I've had a coffee so I'm a bit high. 